Uh, welcome back, Robert. Much more is a best-selling author who helped to turn spy fiction for kids and teenagers into arguably the biggest children's publishing phenomena of recent years. Cherub is the stories. Now, just for those who... I mean, a lot of kids love the books, huge set, but for people who don't know, mm. Cherub is a, a spy organisation which kids... With, basically with kids in. Yep, and the idea behind Cherub is it's not your conventional James Bondy kind of spy. It's not high concept. There's not the guns and the gadgets and all that kind of stuff. The idea behind Cherub is it's a really believable fantasy and that every kid who reads my books can kind of feel that Cherub is a real thing and that they could almost join it themselves. And the latest book, you've got a new hero, a 12-year-old, because they're all orphans, is that That's right? That's right. Yeah. Cherubs have to be orphans. Um, us children's authors, we always kill the parents off because they get in the way. <laughs> uh, now, I wrote a 12-book series of Cherub books, which started in 2004, and the new one, People's Republic, it's basically the start of a new generation of Cherub agents because uh, my main character in the previous series got too old. So this is a really nice time because it means that existing fans can read the new book, but it's also, this is a book that new fans can pick up and read from scratch as well. So hopefully we'll get whole new generation of readers with this new series. And is this all about a little you when you, I don't know, when you were 10 or 12 or something? Was this the, th the life you wanted to lead? I guess. I mean, I always say the main character in the first Cherub series is called James Adams, and I always say he's who I wanted to be when I was 12 years old. I was skinny and geeky. I got bullied a bit and stuff like that. So James is the tough, good-looking guy who always beats other kids up and all the girls seem to fall for him and stuff like that. So it's a kind of wish fulfillment thing. James Adams is who I really wanted to be when I was a kid. Yeah, now you haven't always been a successful author. We were just speaking in the break there and you were telling us about your previous profession, which I'll ask you to elaborate on. But it's interesting, that sort of leap to become a, a successful author and how you find that niche to then exploit in the way that you have to, to become successful. Because, you know, everyone wants to be an author, but we can't all find brilliant ideas such as Cherub uh, to do it. So just tell us a little bit about you and then how you became an author. Yeah. I, um, I left school when I was about 19 years of age and I just got a job working as a private investigator based in London, uh, the firm that actually now appears on your Air Hunters show. Uh, and when I got to be in about 26, 27, I went on this visit to Australia. I always tell my, this story and my fans get really bored of it. But basically, my nephew Jared couldn't find anything to read. He was 12 years of age and he was just in that awkward slot where he was a bright kid. He'd read loads of books when he was younger, but suddenly he just couldn't find anything that hit, his, hit the right spot for him and that interested him. So I just, that was where Cherub came from. It just came out of this place of writing a book for Jared. I'm intrigued. You know you said when you were at school you were, you were a bit nerdy by your own, yeah, your yeah. own words and you were bullied quite a bit. I mean, have, have you ever been reunited? There's a big thing these days about people reuniting after school. Yeah, have, you, yeah. have you got together and, I mean, is it, do you think part of your success now is that you've been driven to succeed because maybe people had knocked you down earlier uh, on? I, I mean, I wouldn't say I was bullied in a, in a really nasty way. I actually went to quite a nice school and I, when I say I was bullied, it's just the way that boys are, you know, they're quite physical and quite in each other's faces. I was, there was never a campaign of bullying against me when I was at school. I was just a skinny kid who got pushed around sometimes by the bigger kids, you know. Uh, but I think that, you know, and one of the really nice things now is that actually uh, with Facebook and with people and finding that, because I've got a fairly unusual name, I get these lovely contacts of people who I went to school with on Facebook and they say, oh, my, my daughter reads your book now, my son reads your book now. And the only thing with that is it does make me feel quite old to know that uh, some of the people I went to school with who's got kids of, who are old enough to read my books. <laughs> you see, I started reading that this, this latest book, not having had the, uh, been introduced to you before, sadly, but I will be uh, soon, no doubt. But, um, to, and I wondered how... How did you do your research and did you have any background in the security? Not that you'd ever reveal it if you had, but do you know what I mean? That I was thinking, how do you do your research in terms of how you would imagine what goes on? Because it was. I think it's like most things. It's like if you're a journalist and, you know, when you see a journalist in fiction, it's always like all the president's men and they're running around and chasing through dark corridors and things like that. What I used to do in my job didn't really tie in that closely with, um, with what you write as fiction. So really research, it just always just comes out of magazines, out of books. You read other books and you get influences from those. I mean, one of the primary influ was influences on Cherub was just to film spy kids because it was just this idea mm. that there were kids being spies but I thought well why not make them realistic real world spies rather than having all these robots and gadgets and all that kind of stuff. Are you mesmerized by the hacking uh, debate at the moment and what's been going on there because I know you know in amongst I know you say it's not necessarily technology based your characters but that's part of it isn't it that sort of stuff about technology. Yeah, I mean, there's always technology in my books. It's just that it's believable technology. You know, they use, they use phones. Uh, for, I think there's even one of my books where they do actually hack someone's phone to actually, you know, find out what they're doing or where they're going to have a meeting or mm. stuff like that. So, you know, things like that do go on and you do try and tie in real world situations rather than having stuff that's over the top. And they're Cherub, sorry, sorry, I was just going to ask about Cherub the movie because we were talking about movies earlier on. Is that, is that something that's, what 
so is that, is that a reality of you talking to yeah, people? Yeah, I mean, we're working on a Cherub movie. They're working on a draft of a script. I've seen the latest draft of the script is absolutely fantastic, uh, and they're hoping to get the production off the ground in the next year or so. The problem is, uh, I'm, I have this running joke about the Cherub movie, and that is the Cherub movie's been a year away for about the last four years. But uh, hopefully, we're going to kind of push it through now and actually get it into production within well, the next how year or so. Exciting! So you've not only inspired all these youngsters to read, but been very successful. Now you've got the film. You got it all. That's the next step. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. is it going to remain? Is it British? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we, had, we, had, we had quite a lot of interest in it, and some was from sort of American studios who wanted to make it as more mm -hmm. of a big budget thing. And Cherub is gritty, it's British, and maybe it was a slightly uncommercial decision, but I wanted it made as a smaller film that was true to the books. So it's being developed by a British production company, uh, so hopefully it's going to be that kind of Billy Elliot oh, kind of movie. We look movie. forward not, to reviewing it. Not, the, yeah. not a big blockbuster. Brilliant, lovely to Thank meet you. you so Thank, you. Thank you very much for coming in. And uh, People's Republic is out tomorrow. Uh, that's it from us this morning. Breakfast, of course, back at 6 tomorrow.